It was like shelf clearing day or something. All right. For this week's grocery haul, this is what we are looking at. I'll start over here. Forgive me if I'm shaky. I'm really hungry, y'all. Okay, so I got a couple of Valentine molds. We've got some ideas for these, for some candies. And then I got some red paper. The girls and I are going to do a little craft. And then I picked up a red and a blue snow sled disc. What do they call this? Snow coaster. Anyway, we've got some spinach, spring mix, celery hearts, cilantro, bananas, Strawberries, this is zucchini, cuties, honey crisp apples. Anything else over here? Some tomatoes, some jalapenos, some red onion, and a spaghetti squash. For dairy and such, we've got two half gallons of almond milk, a half a quart of half and half, the egg whites, quart of whipping cream, three dozen eggs, the provolone cheese that the girls really love, a pack of cream cheese, two pack. Um, two blocks of the pepper jack and then over here we have a summer sausage like always I've got two pounds of this ground turkey and I chose to get the 85% lean I got smoked turkey breast this week for sandwiches and this is a package of chicken breast tenders picked up three more club sodas I've really been um, craving this here lately my throat is starting to get really scratchy and I feel like I'm coming down with the crud so I'm going to be using this in my um, keto aid. Um, some more oats. The girls don't like the um, syrup from the Trim Healthy Ta or Trim Healthy Mama cookbook, so they prefer this kind. Uh, I'm just going to roll with it. The walnuts they like normally have a two pound bag for less than ten dollars, but this was all that they had left on the shelves. It was like shelf clearing day or something. I don't know. So that was kind of expensive. That was almost $8. Some more peanuts, dry it roasted unsalted. Four packages of the Joseph's Flax Oat Bran and Whole Wheat Pita Bread. This only has, what, five carbs? Yeah, five net carbs and two grams of fat. So it's technically a fuel pull. And if you're careful with your fuel stacking, you can either keep it in fuel pull or you can... Um, Make it crossover, make it E, make it um, an S. Those are really versatile. Four more bars of unsweetened 100% cacao baker's chocolate. I've got some ideas for what I want to do with this. And then Molly has been begging me for bagel bagels the past few mornings. So I decided that instead of getting cow milk this week, we would get these. It doesn't sound like an equal trade, but it's, you know, one bad thing or the other. I don't know. So everything was from Walmart, and I spent $153.48. Here is this week's meal plan. We have small group on Monday nights. They're planning on spaghetti. I will bring zoodles for myself and Jared. They're probably going to have some salad, and I'm not sure what kind of desserts we are all planning on doing, but if there is dessert involved, I will attempt to bring Daryl. I will attempt to bring myself and Jared something. Tuesday, I'm going to do sloppy joes, and for the girls, I will make buns out of my homemade bread, and I will try to link that in the iCards. And for Jared and I, I'm going to be doing cheese bread, which is something that I think I found on a Reddit post on a keto board. Um, but I'm planning on doing a video on how I do my sloppy joes and the cheese bread, and we'll have that with broccoli. Wednesday, we will have the dreamy chicken lazone from the Trim Healthy Table cookbook, and that's on page 50. We'll have it with a side of spaghetti squash, salads, and I might do rice for the girls, depending on um, if we make this to their liking or if we make it spicy. I don't know. We always have to have a leftovers night or two because usually this is entirely too much food for us. So Thursday night we will have leftovers. Friday night is always pizza night at our house. So Jared and I will have fathead pizza, the girls will have regular pizza, and we'll do it with some salads, and I will probably make some mini cheesecakes for myself and Jared. A video is to come on this one, and please forgive the shaking, y'all. I am so hungry. Saturday, we're going to do the loaded broccoli and cheese soup out of Trim Healthy Table, and that's page 152. We will have salads. I am, Jared and I were going to have these rolls called psyllium husk rolls and again that's something that I found on a keto site um 
They're actually pretty impressive. And then the girls will have those same whatever buns that I make up here. They'll just have them down here as well. And then finally on Sunday, we are going to have leftovers. So as a trim healthy mama, this is everything that I've purchased for the week. And um, the girls, they typically eat pretty, pretty close to what we eat. Um, they do have my homemade bread. Like I said, I would um, link that one up above. And they do have sugar here and there, and they have some personal choice things like these. Molly really likes to have peanut butter jelly on pitas, which is not the norm. Um, and like this sugar-free syrup, I won't eat this, but for some reason they love this. There's only so much you can do. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else. <laughs> Probably not. This is going to be a rather short video, and I'm not going to show you my face, just because of the fact that we are coming down with the junk, and my face is looking a mess. If you've stuck with me this long, I really appreciate it. I hope that this um, grocery haul and meal plan for this week can inspire you or give you some ideas or just encourage you on your Trim Healthy Mama journey. And I, I know I say that I don't like the word journey, but I feel like adventure isn't appropriate either, even though I prefer the word adventure. I don't know. Anyway, if you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe and tell me what y'all are having this week for uh trim healthy meal plan. I'd love to hear it. So we'll see you in the next one. Bye.